Okay, now let's create uh, some of these numeric to numeric statistics that we were just talking about. I'm going to call this bivariate num num, and this is the we're going to do all the uh, analyzing right here. So first of all, let's do some basic stuff. I'm going to import numpy. Oops, we like numpy for basic math stuff as np. And let's just create a couple of uh, lists. So let's make a height, and we'll set. We'll put in a few values here: 60, 62, uh, 65, 68, 70, and 74. And then let's make some weights. And we'll set these equal to 140, 138. 150, 166, 190, 250. All right. So let's start with a simple correlation between white, uh, height and weight using numpy. So numpy.core coef, and we pass into it simply the two lists. So it's two, uh, two features or two variables or a feature and a label, and they've got to be the same length. So the same number of digits in each of them. Let's go ahead and run that. There we go. Gives us always a correlation matrix back. So because we passed in two features, it's basically the equivalent of saying, okay, we've got height here, weight there, height on the top, weight there. And these two ones are here because the correlation between height and itself would be a one and weight in itself would be a one. And the correlation between height and weight is actually 0.92989, that big number there. It puts it both in the lower uh, right, uh, left and upper right here. Same thing on both sides. Okay, thanks NumPy. Uh, let's just grab and print out of there just the correlation we're interested in. I'm gonna adjust that uh, by saying go first, this uh, first index says go inside this array right here. So that section of it is in the zero position. And then we go to number one to get to the actual correlation coefficient after that. And there we get just that, uh, just that number. So NumPy, uh, often we'll be not using NumPy, but maybe something like pandas. So let's import pandas instead. And uh, the advantage of NumPy is it's often a bit faster than pandas. Not always, but um, we already use pandas for so many other things. So let's go ahead and learn how to use it in there too. I'm going to uh, say df equals and go ahead and pull in my data set. pd.read csv. I'll pass in um, csv. There we go. And simply df.core. That will look through our data set and grab every numeric feature and add them all to the matrix here. So it see how it just automatically ignored sex, uh, region, and gender, or sorry, and uh, smoker, and uh, gives us the same diagonal of one. So we don't even consider the correlation between age and age, BMI and BMI. We it just gives us a place for our eye to see the diagonal. That's all wherever we see the ones. And then we get the, the correlations between age and BMI. We're really just interested in these three right here. Charges are label and the other three features. We don't care so much about these other correlations because they're between features. Now, there's other reasons why we might care that we'll come to later in the book, but for, we won't worry about that for now. All right, so uh, how about if we just want the correlation between uh, an individual pair in pandas? df dot let's grab charges dot core so we first refer to the series we want dot df uh, bmi for example there we go it gives us the individual correlations same one that you see right here that's rounded 0.198341 okay cool we can do uh, we can get correlation but what we really want also often with the correlation is the p value so to do that, let's go to a different package entirely. Let's use um, one that you, we probably haven't used yet in this book. We're gonna use one called SciPy. So SciPy import stats. And let's, we've already got pandas, so I won't import it again. And we've also already got the data frame, so I won't pull that in again. Instead, I'm simply gonna say core equals, 
And I'm going to use the stats package. Pearson R is the name of the function, and we're going to pass in two lists once again. Charges df dot age. Okay. All right, that's processed. I should have printed it out. Core. There we go. All right, gives us back a pair of values, a correlation, and then along with it, a p-value for that correlation. All right, interesting. Let's uh, let's round both of those. So to do that, I'm going to use a notation that uh, you may or may not have seen before. Whenever we get two or more than one value that are always in the same format, in this case, it's always correlation first, p-value second. What we can do is set that the result equal to two variables like this. So R will get this first value and P will get the next value because that's the order they're listed here in this list. So afterwards, let's just simply print R and print P. Okay, cool. Now we've got them separately, but now I'm going to also round R to four decimals. Same thing with this P. And P turned to zero. Why? Because the P value is so small that if you go out four decimals, they're still all zeros. Well, do you remember what the number was, how far we had to go out? At 20 decimals, it's still zeros. How about 25? Still zeros. I think 25 was the cutoff. Let's go to 27. No, it was something more than 27. I wasn't paying attention. 40? There we go. 29. Let's change this to 29. There we go. So it's 29 zeros, then five. That is a very small number. So what that means is that this correlation of 0.299, it is extremely likely that we'll see that correlation again the next time we collect 1,300 more samples. If they're randomly selected from the same population we got our first 1,300 from, from in this data set right here. If that were high, uh, another way to interpret that is that it's a low likelihood that we won't see it again very small likelihood that we won't see that number again. Okay, well, let's uh, let's take this a step further now and let's go ahead and calculate that whole y equals mx plus b formula that we did previously. We're gonna continue to stay here in the scipy package and um, I'm gonna make a data frame for this output. So I'm gonna call this core df and set this equal to pd.dataframe and uh, let's put columns in here, let's call this uh, R for the first one, P for the next one, and let's just go and loop through for call in DF. Now we don't want to do this for every column, we only want to do this for the numbers. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and calculate or grab. Let's first just do this, um, let's do the correlation and put it all in a data frame. We'll come back to Y equals MX plus B in a minute. So for each column, we're going to say DF charges and df. Now I can't just do call here with a variable name, it'll give me an error. Whenever I'm using a variable, I have to use this index notation. So we'll calculate R and P, and then we'll say, uh, oh, not cough, core. Core df uh, dot loc. Now the lo dot loc refers to the row index. What should we call the row index? Let's call it the name of the column that we're looking at. And let's set it at equal to, let's round R to three decimals and round P to three decimals. Okay, when that's done, we're going to print out core DF. Now we're going to get an error. Why? It says uh, U func add did not contain loop signature matching types. In other words, it's saying, okay, one of the columns we're trying to calculate a uh, a correlation for is not numeric. See how just because up here it automatically ignored non-numeric data types? Well, that's built into the core function. We didn't use that function down here. We used stats Pearson R. And so we need to tell it to ignore anything that's not numeric. So let's say if pd.api.types. is, I always forget. Num numeric D type. There you go. And what do we pass into there? Well, if we pass in call, that's going to give us a problem. Because what is call? Call is nothing more than a string. Just to see what I mean, let's print out call each time. 
So, oh, I gotta forget, I gotta remember my colon. All right, it prints out the column name, but it never goes inside this if. That's because the call is nothing more than a string. Age, sex, BMI, it's just the name of the column. So if I want this function to work, I need to pass in an entire column of data, not just the name of the column header. How do I do that? Well, that's where I refer to df, and then I pass in call as an index, and that will pass in the entire data type. So now we it actually goes into the if each time there's a numeric column. Well, we don't need the correlation of charges with itself, so we could do something like and not... Uh, charges or something like that. Um, or and call not equal to charges. There we go. So it ignores charges that time. Let me get rid of my print here. I don't need that anymore. That was just to see what call was. And there's my nice little uh, data frame. Cool. Well, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's learn um, uh, y equals mx plus b.